Speaker, for Nanaimo, Lady Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Canada has failed to meet our commitments to foreign aid. We have failed to meet our commitments to climate action. We are the 15th largest arms exporting nation. We are considering purchasing offensive F-35 stealth fighter jets. We have engaged in NATO wars of aggression and regime change. We haven't signed the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. And we recently failed to gain a seat on the UN Security Council. Will the government conduct a full review of Canadian foreign policy and the role that this country plays in world affairs? On foreign affairs, we're getting an F. Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Oh, Mr. Speaker, I would disagree with that, Mr. Speaker, but I'd like to thank the member for giving me the opportunity to talk about Canada's leadership around the world, Mr. Speaker. Canada has been at the forefront when it comes, for example, to the issue around Belarus, Mr. Speaker. I was just in Europe about three weeks ago to bring Canada's support to the leading democratic candidate. If you're looking at the Uyghur, something that a lot of members in this House have been concerned, Canada has been at the forefront to build this issue and make sure that we have international action. When it comes to Hong Kong, Mr. Speaker, Canada was the very first country in the world to suspend the extradition treaty between Canada and Hong Kong. Mr. Speaker, we're leading around the world and we'll continue to do just that. Yeah, yeah.